Chapter 25 Now Abraham took another wife, whose name was Keturah. She bore to him Zimran, and Jokshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Isbak, and Shua. Jokshan became the father of Sheba and Dedan, and the sons of Dedan were Asherim, and Latushim, and Leumim. The sons of Midian were Ephah, and Epher, and Hanak, and Abida, and Elda. All these were the sons of Keturah. Now Abraham gave all that he had to Isaac, but to the sons of his concubines Abraham gave gifts while he was still living, and sent them away from his son Isaac eastward, to the land of the east. These are all the years of Abraham's life that he lived, one hundred and seventy-five years. Abraham breathed his last, and died in a ripe old age, an old man, and satisfied with life, and he was gathered to his people. Then his sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah, in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar the Hittite, facing Mamre, the field which Abraham purchased from the sons of Heth. There Abraham was buried with Sarah his wife. It came about after the death of Abraham that God blessed his son Isaac, and Isaac lived by Beer Lahairoi. Now these are the records of the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's maid, bore to Abraham. And these are the names of the sons of Ishmael, by their names, in the order of their birth. Nebaioth, the firstborn of Ishmael, and Keter, and Adbeel, and Mibsam, and Mishma, and Duma, and Masa, Hadad, and Tema, Jeter, Naphish, and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names, by their villages and by their camps, twelve princes according to their tribes. These are the years of the life of Ishmael, one hundred and thirty-seven years, and he breathed his last and died, and was gathered to his people. They settled from Havilah to Shur, which is east of Egypt, as one goes toward Assyria. He settled in defiance of all his relatives." Now these are the records of the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham became the father of Isaac, and Isaac was forty years old when he took Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel, the Aramean of Paddan Aram, the sister of Laban the Aramean, to be his wife. Isaac prayed to the Lord on behalf of his wife, because she was barren, and the Lord answered him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. But the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it is so, why then am I this way? So she went to inquire of the Lord. The Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb, and two peoples will be separated from your body, and one people shall be stronger than the other, and the older shall serve the younger. When her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. Now the first came forth red, all over like a hairy garment, and they named him Esau. Afterward his brother came forth with his hand holding on to Esau's heel. So his name was called Jacob, and Isaac was sixty years old when she gave birth to them. When the boys grew up, Esau became a skillful hunter, a man of the field. But Jacob was a peaceful man, living in tents. Now Isaac loved Esau because he had a taste for game, but Rebekah loved Jacob. When Jacob had cooked stew, Esau came in from the field, and he was famished. And Esau said to Jacob, Please let me have a swallow of that red stuff there, for I am famished. Therefore his name was called Edom. But Jacob said, First, sell me your birthright. Esau said, Behold, I am about to die, so of what use then is the birthright to me? And Jacob said, First, swear to me. So he swore to him, and sold his birthright to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and lentil stew, and he ate and drank and rose and went on his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright.